Hello, welcome to another video of the complete Angular course. In this video, I'll be talking about event handling. One of the major advantages of using Angular is the ability to easily handle user interactions with the DOM. Consider this example. In order for us to give an element in the DOM a click feature, we have to define the element in the HTML page and give it an ID so we can reference it later. Once we have done that, we have to write some JavaScript code to get the element, and then we can attach an event handler to handle our events. Let's take a look at the same example when we apply Angular. As you can see, we reduce our code. Not only that, we do not need to give the element an ID that we have to remember. If we change the ID at some point, we will also have to change it in the JavaScript code. With Angular, all we have to do is state the event we want to use in parentheses and tell it which function we want it to fire. Let's do an example. Open the Angular project on VS Code. Add a div element in the app component HTML page and bind a click event to it. Use the parentheses and state the type of event you want it to bind to. Then give it a function that we wanted to call when this event happens. Once we have done that, the last thing we need to do is define that function in the TypeScript file. Go to the app component TypeScript file and define the function. Save the project and start the local server. Open the browser and go to localhost 4200, then click on the element. As you can see, it is really easy to attach an event handler to a DOM element and react to user interactions. Let's do another example. Here's a list of available events. Let's use the key up event. The key up event gets fired when we press and let go of a key on the keyboard. Go back to VS Code and add an input element to the app component HTML page. Then bind it with the key up event. Assign a function for it to fire and then go to app component TypeScript file to define that function. Save the project and go to the browser. Click on the input element and press a key. You may wonder how we can get the value of the key that was pressed on whenever the event gets triggered. The event will return an event object with information about the event. We can use that event object as returned to us and pass it into the function that it is calling and get the value of the key that was pressed. Here's what I mean. Go back to VS Code and then go to the app component HTML page. The key of event will return an event object when it gets fired. So we can then pass that object into our function and get the key. However, we need to make the function accept that object. Go back to the app component TypeScript file and locate the function definition. Add a parameter to accept that event object as an argument. The event object contains a property called key, which returns the value of the key that was pressed. Store in a variable and pass it into the alert function. Now save the project and go to the browser. When we press and let go of a key, it will print that key that was pressed. Let's take a moment to recap what we have learned. We learned that we can easily implement user interactions in our Angular web applications. We learned how to bind an event to a DOM element by using the parentheses and providing the type of event we wanted to bind to and then we can handle that event by providing a handler function. We learned that when an event gets triggered, it will return an event object back to us, so we can use that to get the information about the event. We also learned that we can get the key for key events by taking the event object and then accessing the key property inside. Now I want you to do this exercise. Create a component called event handling exercise. Inside the component is an input element. When you click on the input element, it will display an alert that reads click. When you type on it, it will keep track of how many times the key up event gets triggered. When you press five keys, it will display an alert that prints the key that you have pressed on the fifth attempt. 
Lastly, include the component in the application. Pause the video and take a few minutes to do this exercise. Here's the solution. Create an event handling exercise component using the ng generate component command. Expand the event handling exercise folder and go into the event handling exercise component HTML page. Add an input element and bind two events to it. First, bind a click event and assign a function for it to call. Next, bind the key up event to it and assign a function for it to call. Then, pass the event object into the function. Next, go to the TypeScript file and define the functions. The function for the click event will just have an alert statement to display click. The function for the key up event will have a parameter to receive an event object. Then, create a variable to keep track of how many times the event has triggered. In the body of the function, get the value of the key plus by getting the event object and accessing the key property inside. Every time we press a key, we want to increment our variable by 1. This will keep track of how many keys we press. Write an if statement to check if the value of the variable is greater or equal to 5. If it is, display an alert of the key that was pressed on the fifth attempt. Lastly, we have to place the component inside the app component HTML page so it gets rendered. Get the value of the selected property and then add it to the app component HTML page. Save the project and go to the browser. Click on the input element and plus 5 keys. Thank you for watching. If you have a question, leave a comment. Please like and subscribe for more videos.